Hi boys and girls. Today you'll get to do an integration activity. When we do integration, it means that we learn about things that are connected to different school subjects together. Like today, you'll get to start a work of art where you also have to use your knowledge of fractions. This video is the first part of a two-part project. The second part is explained in video two. To start this work of art, you will need two papers. One is the Mondrian Fractions Art Planning Sheet, and one is called Recording Fractions Mondrian. Begin by writing your name on both of these papers. You will also need a red, yellow, and blue crayon. You may be wondering, why are these titled with the same name, Mondrian? Piet Mondrian is a famous artist who lived from 1872 to 1944. He is known for being one of the pioneers of 20th century abstract art. Purely abstract art, also called non-objective art, is art that does not reference life but uses the elements of art like line, shape, and color without having recognizable images. Mondrian is most famous for his work that used a very limited amount of colors, often just red, yellow, blue, white, and black and limited shapes too, like squares and rectangles. Here are a few of Mondrian's paintings. What do you notice about them? For your work of art, you will begin by creating squares and rectangles of different colors on the planning sheet. Your sections can be red, yellow, blue, or white. The white ones will not need to be colored in. You might notice that the paper is a grid made up of 100 squares. Every time you make a section, you will record a fraction that represents that section of the grid. For example, this section could be recorded as eight one hundredths because it is eight parts of the whole 100 squares. You will also need to number each of your sections to keep track. So I'm going to call this section number one. Now that I have filled in my planning sheet, I will go to my recording fractions page and record my fractions. I will also record an equivalent fraction for each section. An equivalent fraction is a fraction that represents the same proportion or relationship but using different numbers. For example, my section that is called 8 one hundredths could also be called 4 fiftieths. I got this fraction by dividing both numbers 8 and 100 by 2. There are different ways to create equivalent fractions. When you finish this planning sheet and recording your equivalent fractions, you can watch video two to see the next steps for making your work of art.